Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and guess what? This is the truck from hell. All right, so basically this truck came from, this is on the third shop now. On uh, this one, they actually went from a 4.3 to 5.7, and it's been just surging and just doing some crazy stuff. Um, it's just dumping a lot of fuel. It smells like raw eggs, honest to God. So, I'm not too familiar with these vehicles because I normally, when I went to school, I was uh, 96 and up, OBD2. But uh, guess what? I can say I can work on any car. Just give me a book, give me some time to research, and I'll go from there. But the only bad thing about this, I did my research, and it really doesn't tell you that much. It just tells you to change up parts. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what I went through. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my oscilloscope to show you. I'm gonna sh uh, I have my multimeters, uh, thermal, and my varus. You don't need all these kinds of things, but I'm gonna show you what I'm going through uh, on the threads, what they recommended, and I actually got the fix now. So I'm gonna show uh, I'm gonna go through each step, and um, and we'll go from there. So most threads that uh, that I that I read and I saw. They're talking about the map sensor that's over here. You got the coolant sensor, is this one. And I think it was just the injectors, and that's it. So um, I'm going to go through this and I'm going to show you how to test this rather than just changing our parts because guess what? I hate doing that. So uh, I like doing my test and going from there. So First of all, I'm just going to show you the map sensor. And um, the map sensor you got right here, that's just reading the absolute pressure of the actual vacuum inside the inside the engine. On this map sensor, you have three wires. You're going to have a uh, ground wire. The middle one is going to be a signal wire. And the other one is going to be the voltage. So what you have to do, just make sure that everyone has, uh, they have their signals. So I did check beforehand that we had ground that we had voltage now I'm going straight to signal I'm gonna make sure that the map sensor is working so right here as you can see on my various I, I, you don't have to have a various uh, when I first checked it out I used my cheap little you know <laughs> it's not that expensive it was like ten dollars so I'm gonna show you my various just for demonstration so you can see all nice and big so what I hooked up to I hooked up my uh, my vacuum uh, vacuum pump to the gauge so simulating a uh, vacuum in the engine and essentially what's supposed to happen as soon as I start pumping this up you can see 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 that's, pound, uh, that's uh, the vacuum that we're getting from here is simulation this should uh, fluctuate the voltage on here so here it goes I'm gonna put it right next to each other as you can see as I start giving the vacuum look what happens voltage starts decreasing and just to make sure that there's no spikes anywhere or anything like that I'm gonna do graphing volts take this down All right, so right here, we're at five volts. I'll start giving a vacuum. You see how it steadily goes down? And that little hump was because I had to pump it again. So guess what? Map sensor is good. <laughs> Other places I've been looking at, just say change it out. That should fix it up. Not here. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at the actual uh, coolant temperature sensor. So I have uh, some information right here. If y'all need this, I can try to send it to y'all. And it just shows the ohms on there. So when you got 177 ohms, that should be at 212 degrees and so on, as you can see. Boom, 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 boom. So, that's when I get my trusty thermal right here. So we're just gonna see the temperature that we have right here. So one, I don't know if y'all can get that. About 150, 160, it just fluctuates. 
It can, you see, it just went to like 190. But right now, what I'm just trying to see, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, right now, I'm just checking out the ohms on here. So I put 2,000 ohms because this can fluctuate from 160, uh, 177 to, man, that's about a thousand, uh, 100,000 ohms. So, just for sakes right now, because we're thinking that this is gonna be at around 190 degrees, we should get at least 200 ohms. Between, give or take, 177 to 300. So we're just gonna ohm this out, because it t right now the vehicle has been on for a while, and look at the temperature. Or look at the ohms right there, 227 ohms. I've already tested this out, I went from dead cold and I actually just waited right there and saw this moving down so that eliminates that too I know this is a cheap part but when you start throwing parts in there it just messes everything up the best thing to do is do a diagnostics and then the last one I'm going to show you is just a spray, uh, uh, spray pattern of the injectors so what you want to do is take off the air cleaner move this little housing to the side and what I'm going to do I'm going to turn this on and then I'm going to put my uh, flashlight right behind here and we're going to see the spray pattern. And that's going to be last in it. And then we can see exactly what's wrong. So that looks like a good spray pattern. So, so basically, basically that's the that's what we do to check this out right here. All right. So, if you do like this video, uh, please comment, subscribe, thumbs up. If you don't, tell me why you want to put a thumbs down. Hopefully, you like this. Please take care. Bye.